Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth part tutorial of how to model a washing machine. Now this time I want to point to a few issues and I want you to understand something. Um, so let's begin. Uh, by the way this model is a little bit the same, almost the same as uh, what you need to have by now but um, I accidentally uh, saved my progress while I'm trying to create another part of the tutorial and I was uh, just overwrite my uh, previous uh, saved uh, file so um, you may see things a little bit different but I will try to explain what I did by using other uh, file that I have here in my computer but first let's talk about a few of the issues that we have so because we are adding a lot of edge loops in order to maintain those um, edges of this you know uh, squarey kind of panel here and the squarey uh, draw and also the squarey uh, filter uh, door here um, we are basically adding too much geometry and ring the geometry and this why the circle here of our washing machine uh, looks a little bit uh, you know uh, problematic it's not really rounded so this is basically because we have too much um, uh, edge loops here uh, that connecting to this area so the best way to uh, avoid this issue um, is simply to break uh, the washing machine to parts okay so you do it first by using your um, you exit the smooth preview mode and you will need to have to take this part for example and right click choose face um, go over front view or the side view whatever fits you and what whatever comfortable to you you know and let's say we grab only these faces okay sorry uh, let's those faces okay so these faces basically are only the main cube here where the drum is and the door and basically we can just extract this okay you can grab all these faces and make sure you didn't select anything else not even those here not those faces only those faces that from here down here okay and you can go over mash extract these faces and you will have a separated parts for this okay so now you have this and you can still smooth preview this and you can see that it's almost looks okay except this extra faces here that belongs to this and by some how I didn't select those faces and this is why um, we see them here we can basically delete them she's face and delete them see like that and let's smooth preview you see the shape basically maintain the same guidelines and the same sharp edges and now we can come over here and work on working this out we can basically grab these edges here this one which is just another edge that we added and go over hold on the shift right click and delete it we also can delete this one because this is unneeded edge that's here and we will need to do this also for this shape okay so we grab this edge and this edge we need to have only one edge here so just delete three of them you see now you will have one here and let's look for more let's say these here unneeded so shift right click and lead those and here the same selecting these 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 
Okay. So now if I will press F8 and smooth preview it, uh, we are almost there. We still have two edges here. So we need only one, so let's get rid of one of them here. And here, at the side, shift, right click, delete edge. Also here, we need to have only one, so shift, delete edge. Shift, right click, delete edge. Um, as I told you, I previously did some uh, changes here. Um, so I want to also take you in the steps to how to do this. So you see basically it looks okay right now, uh, although I have some issue here. I don't need this edge also, so let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of this edge also. Okay, this is the problematic area which I didn't take in mind, which uh, earlier we had some faces here, but you can see um, this is how we brought back this circle to look a little bit much more uh, as it should. And uh, whenever you do this kind of things, you have to think. You have to think before you do this, uh, but it's always uh, you can always go and redo it. You know, uh, just simply break your uh, model to parts, and that way you can uh, delete those edges as I showed you. Now, um, in this part, uh, I also uh, created something here. I took the faces that were attached here and I extract them into this shape, okay? So it looks like this right right now. And what I've done is basically I will go over another file that I saved earlier. Let me just first find it. Let's say I will bring those over here. Okay. So uh, at the fourth part, I told you to grab this circle, right? And I was extruding this, okay, like that. I'll just do it quickly so you can see what I mean. Uh, sorry. Extrude this, like that. We had something like this, right? We added a few edges in the middle. And then we, sorry, no, and then we grab some faces here and we extrude them inside a little bit, right? Like that, uh, and extrude them once again. So you will have something like that, basically. Um, and what I've done uh, is actually I went back to exit the smooth preview mode. I came here to this uh, to the side view. Sorry, to the side view, and I was grabbing those faces, okay, like that. Only those faces, and exit back to perspective mode, and unselect those, and unselect those. So it will uh, left me only with these faces inside here. So I just came and extract them. So now I have two pieces here. So I can take this piece and move it a little bit first outside. And then come and grab this circle and then extrude it once again as earlier. But this time I will keep it flat without any you know those what I've done here um, can, but you will need to add, uh, add edge loops one here and one here and that's enough so now we have this part here which is the rubber kind of uh, thing okay it keeps the water inside the washing machine and if I will smooth preview it, let's see, you can see we have some uh, more 
edge loops here, extra edge loops that belongs to this earlier uh, thing we've done in the process. So I can delete those and make sure it looks. Uh, it I I just bring this back to look as normal. So let's delete those edges. So now it looks better, and you can simply take this and move it sorry back to place so this should be a metal kind of look okay here this faces and then comes the rubber and after the rubber you should have the drum that you created now also uh, what I've done is I came here and I chose this face and I was extruding it that way creating some kind of uh, you know open area like that um, so you you have something to uh, create some kind of uh, pivot for it okay so now uh, basically the front here this front uh, door here should look like this right in your model and let me just first make sure yeah like that so now if I'm coming and grabbing this face which you should have uh, you can uh, extrude it once like that extrude it once again sorry like that maybe turn this gizmo that way make it like that and extrude it outside you can also rotate it now if you rotate it and the gizmo doesn't look good so it doesn't look correct you know aligned to the same portion of this face uh, the direction of this face so change it to world okay you basically probably see it like this so change it to world by double clicking this rotate tool and then you can come over this world option just rotate it a little bit that way extrude it once again again rotate it extrude it so you create some kind of a pivot for your uh, door it maybe once more rotate it bring it like that and here it's uh, more of a adjustment kind of thing so you can will have to bring it inside let's see like that and then maybe scale them a little bit both yeah, it should get scaled like that. And you can see it's a little bit big, but um, you will need to <laughs> adjust this. Make sure it's a little bit thinner than it looks right now. So maybe vertices and, sorry, grab these vertices, scale them that way and rotate this that way and grab these vertices let's do this all at once like that sorry Something like that. Uh, maybe it's still big enough, a bit big for this uh, holder, but kind of okay. Um, okay, you see, so it fits. Now the thing here. Um, 
which you probably want to do is grab this and grab this first grab this and then grab this and go over general and parent them okay this is the parent you can also press P on your keyboard it's a shortcut for parenting so now if I, if I will select this door it will also select this okay so this is the child and this is the mother and if you select the mother so the child also been selected and after you select the mother uh, for Windows user press home button uh, sorry insert button and for Mac users press home button so uh, you can adjust the pivot so I'm just adjusting the pivot for the door and the pivot should be where we just created this kind of uh, you know sloppy pivot for the door <laughs> Uh, but you get the idea right and then you can simply rotate it and you should have something that looks just a little bit better or you know maybe like maybe like bring this over here and see so that's kinda nice okay and that's pretty much it for this part of the tutorial um, I will need to think if to add more parts to it but the main idea was to uh, give you some solution and some uh, method on how to avoid this uh, kind of sloppy um, topology that you have here just because of those extra edge loops and understand how you can uh, fix this so breaking the shape to parts it's uh, you know very important in some cases uh, just to make sure that uh, you know it's very hard work to uh, keep topology into place and at the same time uh, giving your uh, you know object uh, the look that you like and therefore you need to uh, work this out in some way so this is how you do it and for now I hope you enjoy this part and it provides you some uh, you know information of how to handle this kind of stuff and that's it see you soon with a new tutorial or maybe we will continue this tutorial I'm not sure but we'll see. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.